I'm exhausted. Birthday season has officially done me in. Avelina, Wentworth, Eleanor, Meredith, Jesus. Who's left? Oh, that dang New Year's baby. He's coming soon. This is probably the weirdest intro I've ever done. I still have some Christmas crap to take care of today. Let's go do it. No time to waste. Hello party people. So we've got some Christmas crap to take care of today. Last minute Christmas crap. A lot of errands to run. I am hitting up Target. I have an online order to pick up. And then I also, I was out with Alex last night and it was our anniversary. 13 years. Ah, if you follow me on Instagram, I shared it all there. All the food that we ate, all the amazing food that we ate. Anyway, but during our conversation, something about Oh, beard oil. We took a picture and Alex is like, oh, I should get some beard oil. Did, did you get me some for Christmas? And I was like, yes, but I didn't. So <laughs> I have to pick some up here. And it got me thinking of last minute Christmas gifts and how, I don't know if your kids do this, but my kids definitely like completely changed their Christmas list. And I was just like, too bad. They'll be happy with what they get. I also need to get groceries. I am planning on doing a Christmas like bake with me, cookies and treats. And then I also need to get stuff to make side dishes for Christmas dinner. Oh my, so many, so much food to make. It's all going to be delicious. Oh, oh, did I say where I was going? Costco, I need to hit up Costco for a few things uh, just because it's cost effective. And then Costco is right next to Aldi, which I feel like I never go to, but I get a flyer for Aldi every week. And I figured, I don't know. I just feel like so many people are talking about Aldi. I need, I should just hop in there. I also don't want to waste my time. I feel like every time I go in there, I waste my time. Oh my gosh. Speaking of wasting my time, I have to run into TJ Maxx too. I don't have time. I don't have time for this. Who has time to literally the parking lots are popping because everyone is apparently a procrastinator. Um, yeah, so I got my Stroop waffle bag. We're gonna head inside and get our last minute items. Oh my gosh, wait, what else are we doing? Oh, I've got my list. I'll explain to you why I'm going to TJ Maxx when I'm there. Oh, okay, Christmas Eve box. Ah, oh, I don't know if I wanna put that together. Hopefully we'll put it together. We're gonna try, we're gonna do our best with the Christmas Eve box this year. I don't think I did one last year because hello, I had a newborn. I mean, I can really make an excuse for this year too. Hello, I've got four kids. Hello, I just don't feel like it. I need to finish some grandparents gifts that I'm making and that's it. Let's go. Okay, I think this is it. Beard and scruff softener? No, that's not it. Lumberyard style, what the heck? Lumberyard, it's actually a really clever name. Beard softener, okay, beard oil. Okay, now I'm second guessing life. There's two different kinds, they look exactly the same, but I love what it says on the back here. Lumberyard will have you smelling like you spent your day making sawdust. <laughs> well, that's interesting. 20 minutes later and now I'm overwhelmed. Too many choices. I got my loot. I know you're on the edge of your seat. I got the oil that uh, smells like sawdust. So hopefully Alex likes that. Now we will head to somewhere else. <laughs> what I forgot to say was it's so crazy to just go inside Target and come out with the two things, one or two things that you went in for and no lingering about, you know what I mean? Feels good. Okay, so I was talking to my Oma uh, a couple of nights ago, I already sent her package out, which by the way, I sent it out the very last day you could possibly send a package to get it there on time. Hold on, it's a ton of people. <laughs> okay, so anyway, we were talking, she hasn't been getting out much this year uh, for obvious reasons, and she told me she usually gets some kind of like stolen, she's German, from like TJ Maxx and stuff. I think they're all gone though, I can't find them anywhere. Here's some food, but I'm pretty sure my Oma doesn't care about... Oh, maybe she cares about nougat. She definitely doesn't care about sour worms. Wentworth does, though. Oh, I think they're all out of it. I don't see it. You know what else we were talking about? Look at this rolling pin. This is nice. A marble rolling pin and crate? Oh my gosh, it's 13 I don't need it. I don't need it, Kim. I want it. Okay, we were also talking about spritz cookies, and I got her recipe but I don't have a spritz machine, so I was hoping to find one here. They're sold out literally everywhere, but no such luck. Hold on, Valentine's Day stuff already. Look at this, be my Valentine. No, you guys, I'm not ready. More Valentine's Day stuff. Oh boy, well I guess now, when you're watching this, I'll be ready. So I guess I should just share it with you since you're in Valentine's Day mood, are you? You're probably like New Year's mood or just Christmas hangover. Couple more items here. 
love and all that good stuff. Oh my gosh, midnight snack happy hour. Oh, that's awesome. Even these are so stinking cute. 10 bucks and eight. Couple more Valentine's Day items. And then over here, is this Valentine's Day or Christmas? I can't tell. Stay humble, y'all. Oh my gosh, look at this little guy in the back. Oh, he is darling. What, did he lose his friend? Oh my God, why is he $10? Someone please explain this to me. I mean, he's cute, but he's not $10 cute. I think it is Valentine's Day. Look at all this stuff. Okay, LED curtain lights, cute. Oh, love you to the moon and back. All right, I'm not here for this. Well, I'm not gonna lie. I am bummed that I couldn't find it, but I'm kind of happy because the line to check out was to the moon. Oh, crap. I'm just looking at my uh, list of things to do. I need to put my seatbelt on. And I totally forgot about the Christmas Eve box. What am I gonna put in it? I made a whole list of stuff to put in it, actually. But when I made the list, I think I was feeling overzealous. I've got like Christmas tree, Play-Doh activity, and donuts in the shape of snowman. That was midnight, Kim, when I think I have my life together. And then once the new day rolls around, I realize Oh crap, there's no time for this nonsense. <laughs> we'll see what we can put together. Guess where I am. <laughs> just picked up my photo. I can take this off. I just picked up my photos. They're looking good. Actually, I don't know how they look because I never check them. I just trust that they look good. Let's see my coupons though. Ooh, eye care, facial cleanser. $3 off two Hallmark cards? Nice. Toothpaste, cleansing water, food, beauty tools. Buy one, get one free toilet tissue. Interesting. I'm at Aldi. People rave about this place. Am I parked? Uh, but I don't know what is back there. Got a cup full of grapes here. Turning into wine. Don't know how long that's been back there. Oh, I don't know if I have a quarter. Don't you need a quarter to shop here? I got some pennies. I have a lot of Target gift cards. Ooh, ha <laughs> got it. Okay, wish me luck that they have everything that I need. Where's my list? I'm kind of hoping in the back of my head that they have a spritz cookie machine. Fingers crossed. I used to shop here all the time when Avelina was a baby. The smell is bringing back memories. Look at these deals though. A pineapple for $1.29? Yes, please. Okay, I've made it to the fun aisle, the non-grocery aisle. 12 days of bath fizzies for 10 bucks. I see some fans, some chapstick. Ooh. Uh-oh. They've got some baskets down there. A rug? Oh, like a boot mat? Oh my gosh, Blockbuster party game? It's a pretty cool loungewear set. Wait, what is this? It's a Sherpa. That's amazing. Also, our friend recently got these for Avelina and Eleanor for their birthdays, and they absolutely love them. Seven bucks. Had no idea she got them here. Done with Aldi. Overall, I wasn't super impressed, but I'll explain why. How do I get my quarterback? There we go. Hey, I made a bold move. First of all, hold on. First of all, I'm home. Second of all, these cookies, <gasps> 42 cookies for $6. Instead, I'm going to spend about $100 on ingredients and five hours of my life making my own cookies. That's what the holidays are all about, right? Oh, also, I left my list in the car, so fingers crossed, I get everything I need. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Chocolate cake bites, Hershey style, $7.50. I'm done. I spent 200 big ones. And hopefully we'll have food for the next few days. So what I was talking about before is that I now have to go to Publix because Aldi didn't have everything that I ha needed. And so now I have to go to another grocery store. Not my favorite thing to do, but I'll do it. Also, I have no space in my car for all of these groceries. <laughs> this is what my car looks like right now. <laughs> Just wondering if you can hear the car behind me. They have Santa Claus hats on. Let me roll my windows down. <laughs> I love when this happens. I got a spot right up front. They must have known I was coming. Okay, last door. We're at Publix now. Hopefully... I mean, I know they're gonna have everything that I need. And I remember this being one of the reasons why I stopped shopping at Aldi. I don't know if I explained this earlier, uh, but it's because when I noticed, oh, well, they don't have everything I need, and then I had a second kid, because again, I had just had Avelina, 
And then having two kids, it was just too much getting them in and out of the car going to two separate places. Too much for me anyway, not worth it. And then I rediscovered my absolute love for Publix. So let's go in, grab whatever else we need and get home. Okay, I just put, I had to show you these. Are you kidding me? These cakes, this is part of the reason why I love Publix so much. Look at those little brownie bites. Look at this reindeer, the cutest. Oh, I love this place. What's on the other side? Another snowman, fantastic. Oh, an ugly sweater. And then a Christmas wreath. That's so fun. Okay, I'm home. I have all the groceries laid out. I can't believe I went to three grocery stores just now, wasted so much time. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I have, I don't have everything. I know I don't have everything because I don't have thought of it on the way home. And now I forgot because I didn't write it down. And that's what happens with my brain. Let me show you everything. We're gonna speed through it. Fastest grocery haul I've ever done. Ready, set, go. First, I'll show you everything. Here's counter one and counter two. Ooh, it's so much. Where should we start? I had to separate the produce. There was so much of it, but basically, here's the produce. I've been eating like garbage lately, so I really need to eat healthy. Well, mostly because, let me show you why. I've been eating like garbage because we have like no fresh produce or vegetables in the house. So our fridge is pretty bare. I got spaghetti squash, bananas. Oh, cauliflower. Let me show you what I'm making with that. Did I say this was going to be a quick grocery haul? <laughs> this, isn't this so fun? I'm gonna hopefully make this for a Christmas get together. I love it so much. So I did get some, well I paid an arm and a leg for cauliflower and then I got this broccoli at Aldi, banana. Oh, I got the watermelon at Aldi. I shared on my Instagram that I recently got one from Target. It was rotten. So sad, wasted $4, so hopefully this one's good. I'm gonna crack into it right away. Uh, some artistin, because I'm so fancy. Lettuce, carrots, green beans, some pineapples right there. What is this? Oh, because I really wanna make salads, and sometimes the top of the romaine isn't crunchy, so I just wanna add this to it. Got some tomatoes for the Santa. What is this? Celery to go with the hummus. My daughter, everyone loves hummus here and we basically just use celery as a spoon. Some cucumbers. I went out to eat on our anniversary dinner and they cut the cucumbers, I think with something like this because it was in strips. It was so fancy, guys. So I'm gonna try to recreate that. Oh, and then I got some grapes back here. I want to recreate this recipe that I saw on Instagram. It was like a whole bunch of dump cakes and this was one of them. It was supposed to taste like chocolate covered cherries. Well, I couldn't find cherry filling in either Aldi or Publix. I don't know what's going on, Is but I've never bought it before. I don't even know if it's a thing that's readily available. So I just got cherries. I figured it could taste like chocolate covered cherries. Oh man, even though I got some strawberry cake mix because you're supposed to just lay a layer of Nutella, but I got the Aldi kind, which doesn't taste anything like Nutella, if you're wondering, but I figured chocolate is chocolate, good enough. So a layer of chocolate, and then you dump the pie filling, and then you cover it with the cake, and then you cover it with like a stick and a half of butter and cook it. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna try it out. And then I figured uh, the cake was buy one, get one free, so I grabbed a spice cake mix. I like to make pumpkin cookies with these. You just, it's a box of spice cake mix or vanilla if you don't really like the spice in it. And then a can of pumpkin, and that's it. It's a fantastic dessert, amazing crowd pleaser. I also got these three cans of pasta sauce from Aldi. A lot of times for a fast dinner, I will say, okay, let's just make spaghetti or whatever, but I never have the sauce, so I always have to make it, and then is it really that fast? No. I also wanna try to make some lasagna, maybe, for Chris, I don't know. I've just been in the mood for lasagna. Alex has been talking about it a lot. Got some olives for Santa. I got some, oh, so these are oven, these were from Aldi, and then I was worried that I didn't get enough, so then I grabbed some more from Publix. Two more boxes. I did grab these almonds from Aldi. They're roasted and salted. I am making, hopefully it's up already. If it's not up, it will be up soon, a Christmas treats video. So I made a whole list of stuff I'm going to make. And then I wrote the grocery list. So I don't exactly know what these are for, but hopefully something delicious. Garlic hummus, um, mostly for Santa Claus the board I just showed you. And then I got some brownie batter, dessert hummus. I figured Wentworth might chow down on that. I don't know, he likes anything with chocolate. Oh, and then, have you guys ever heard of Velveeta fudge? Well, apparently you're in for a treat. I asked you guys over on Instagram, like, oh, what are your favorite Christmas treats? And this was one of them, and it was only brought up once, but someone said, it sounds nasty, but trust me. So I'm trusting that person. So I, I think it's just Velveeta and then some chocolate and maybe nuts, I don't remember, but I know I needed Velveeta for Velveeta fudge. Weird, but I'm gonna try it out. 
I'm not a huge fudge fan. Okay, so this is gonna be fast. Peppermint for, well, you'll see in the treats video if I film it. <laughs> if not, cliffhanger. Okay, I'm also going to make, oh, some green bean casseroles. So I got some French fried onions and then some green beans. I like them, I like my green bean casserole with canned green beans. I don't know, it just reminds me of home, okay? That's what we ate growing up, so that's how I make it now. And then I got some cans of cream of chicken, and then I guess I needed a can of cream of condensed milk for something. Ugh. What else do I have over here? Some uh, corn syrup. Oh, clubhouse crackers, Aldi style. Then I got Ritz crackers because Aldi didn't have like the normal Ritz crackers and we enjoy those. I got some mashed potatoes for a quick dinner tonight. I figured, well, we have one container that we need to eat. Then I thought, oh, that's not gonna be enough so I have to buy another one, but it was buy one, get one free. So then I bought, now I'm gonna be in the same predicament. I have one left over. It's a problem, okay? And then I thought, ooh, someone's at my door, hold on. It's a revolving door around here. Okay, well, I got uh, some stuff for the Christmas Eve box. I figured I was, okay, I figured to keep it super simple, I was gonna make some cutesy little snowman donuts, but just some uh, popcorn, just the kids will enjoy it, and then some hot chocolate, it's gonna be a good night. Throw in a movie, and I found these cool sprinkled donuts. Hopefully I don't eat them before Christmas Eve. It might happen, I've got a problem. Sugar addiction is what it is. Uh, some maple French toast bagels, Ugh, give me a break. Uh, they did not have any almonds at Costco, but I did find pecans, I know I'm out of them, so I grabbed them. Coconut flakes, I found a recipe for like almond joy cookies, so I'm gonna throw some together. Some baguettes, I ooh, sorry, again for dinner, Oh, plus carbs, you know what I mean? I got some of these cheese balls, Alex loves them, and for the Santa. This is a gift for Alex, don't tell him. I also got some tortillas, some hummus, cheese, and more cheese, a ton of chocolate chips. Hopefully that will last me the year, probably not. Well, the rest of the year, hey. Okay, I also got a ton of peppers because this seems, this is like my favorite thing to eat lately. Carrots, onions, apples, green beans, a ton of butter over there because it's bacon season, people. I got some avocados. Alex said last time I picked them up, they were the best avocados he's ever had and we eat fresh ones all the time, homegrown. I got a bunch of lettuce, some broccoli, couple things of strawberries, raspberries. Oh, we've already cracked into this, and they taste just like name brand. I mean, it's been years since I've had name brand, but from memory, that's what I remember. They taste pretty good. Some milk, went through that. Sugar, brown sugar, white sugar, powdered sugar, whatever. Chicken, and my favorite, oh my gosh, these meatballs are amazing. Cranberry and jalapeno. I just eat them, just straight out of the package. Okay, moment of truth. I still don't have all the groceries put away, but I must know what the inside looks like. Aw, oh, could be worse. At least it's not rotten, like the last one I bought. It's like orange. I mean, I know they're not in season, so I can't expect much. It's just, Avelina keeps asking for one, so I keep trying to please her. All right, just taste test, here we go. Mm, it's not, it's okay. I've had worse. Okay, it's so the next day. I just got the baby down for a nap. Oh, I still have a ton of dry shampoo in my hair. This is the problem with dry shampoo. How much is too much? Also, I normally get the brunette kind. Oh, I guess this one kind of rubs in nicely. All right, whatever. Got a very strong scent to it. I'm just gonna prep some vegetables, uh, maybe some fruit so we have some to eat today. Uh, the kids went to like a Christmas shindig last night, so I was doing other things. I will finish my to-do list today. Let me wash my hands and then we'll get prepping on some veg.
only human. Are you a human? And that is my absolute favorite royalty-free song. It is called Human After All by Ezra Homewood. And now I feel like Casey Kasem. Okay, so I did want to mention, uh, well, first of all, I wanted to let that song play out without interrupting because it is amazing. I hope you enjoyed it. (laughs) It's been my favorite since uh, forever. Okay. What did I want to say about food prep? Well, first of all, I wish it was as fast as this in real life, but sadly, it's not. This took me like a solid, I don't even know how long, way too long. However, it is worth it. Whenever I have prepped and pre-cut fruits and veggies in the fridge, every single person in my house is more inclined to eating them. So I do, you know, it's a love-hate thing about spending the extra time and effort and energy into prepping all of the food. Uh, But also, I love having it ready for me. Watch this. Oh, so satisfying. Are you kidding me? Amazing. I should replay that. That's how amazing that was. Anyway, so I wanted to maybe encourage you. It's like midnight. To (laughs) I'm getting in that loopy stage. I wanted to encourage you to maybe prep some food if you were thinking about doing so. Just do it. Oh, and I'll have you know, I have had a salad a week. A salad a week. (laughs) Hey, listen, if I've had a salad a week, it's better than the whole month of December. But this week, I went above and beyond and had a salad a day because look at what I prepped. Incredible, you guys. One of my favorite Amazon purchases of all time are these salad bowls. And I do uh, rinse them or wash them out. (laughs) I I use soap most of the time. I wash them out and reuse them. So there's that. Anyway, so I got those bowls off of Amazon and uh, specifically for salads. So I just cut up my favorite things. I also got that fancy artisan mix from Aldi. I really enjoyed that. I did not have any red onion. Huge oversight. Didn't buy it. So next time I go to the grocery store, please remind me to grab some because this is my favorite salad. And there it is. All prepped and ready for me to eat. Proud to report, I have eaten them once a day for lunch. I love them. I love salad. Oh, my word. I finally put these together. They're a few of uh, Grandparents Day gifts. I just sent one to my mom, actually. And the glare from the ceiling fan is a lot. But it basically just says, Grandkids make life grand. You guys, I know what you're thinking. Kim, what's the name of your Etsy shop? I don't have one. Are you surprised? (laughs) I basically just bought these wood boards from Joanne Fabrics. Two different sizes. Grandparents with the most grandkids got the bigger ones and then I mean there's still a ton of grandkids here too Just each family got their own, you know picture on here, which is nice But I just painted it and you know what the hardest part about this was finding a white paint marker that didn't go everywhere I ended up getting like a pack of eight markers. Let me see if I can find it I took four different trips to Michael's and Joann's looking for them. I bought all these markers that didn't end up working out. This one actually worked out, but the gold paint that I had didn't look the same color as this marker, but it looks the same color when I painted it. So I couldn't use this one. And then these were just running everywhere. So I ended up buying these from Target for way too much money. I literally spent way too much money looking for a marker, but I figured the kids can craft with these and it came out the texture that I needed it to come out. So that was nice, worth it. I just went on my computer and pulled up this font and I traced it on a sheet of paper and then with a pencil traced it onto the board and then with the marker traced it. Do you know what I mean? So a few steps, but I think it looks pretty decent. Oh, and the best part, you guys, I went above and beyond. Look what I did on the back so they can actually hang it. (laughs) I mean, this is a really cute Grandparents Day gift. I think they sell something similar to this on Amazon. So I'll try to link it if you're interested. I tried two different sugar cookie recipes. The first one, this is the second batch. Doesn't it look good? Aside from me cooking it way too long because I did not set a timer. Also, I completely melted that butter when I was trying to soften it because 
kids are distracting. Okay, so can you tell the difference between the first batch and the second batch? <laughs> I mean, it's undeniable. This is the first batch too. I'll give you a closer look. Um, yeah, so I will link the recipe below for the second batch. It's amazing. It tastes better. It does have a little bit more butter, but I mean, you're eating a cookie. I mean, at least for me, I'm not expecting to eat anything healthy. You know what I mean? So the kids are going to decorate all these. Here's the aftermath. Meredith, you want to make some cookies? You want some cookie dough? It's much too good for children. Here it is. I have to clean all of this up now. Everyone's playing Fibbage. Have you ever played that game? It's a good one. Okay. Dishes. Not too, sh no, well, it's a mess. It's a mess over here. Okay, I've set up the cookie decorating station. We have a ton of sprinkles that I spent my life savings on. Uh, actually, how much were they? I think like $3, yeah, $3 a barrel here. So, not too shabby, could have been worse. I mean, it's sugar. These are my favorite. Holly Berry! I'm gonna probably dump the sprinkles in here before the kids come out, and then these are half of the cookies we made. We made a ton. And oversight on the frosting, I should have made more bags, but it doesn't matter, because we have a few more kids here, but we'll be fine. Are you dancing, Meredith? Ooh. It's a good cookie. Gonna, oh, okay, oh, oh, there it is. Yep, okay. Now it's cookie decorating time. moved on to wrapping the rest of the gifts. There are sibling gifts. There's gifts for cousins here. There's a lot that I have to wrap actually. That whole bag is full of smaller things. Oh, and I put together the Christmas Eve box. It's so Christmassy, isn't it? <laughs> the kids are definitely not gonna care, but I'm gonna wrap this box and then I'm thinking of wrapping all of the content separately just to have them spend more time opening it. I'm not really sure. In this pouch are just some like paint pens, I don't know. I got the pouch, I got the pens, I got the box from my Michael's $5 grab bag or grab box a long time ago. Well, long time, I don't know, it's been a couple of months. It feels like forever ago. I packed these donuts in there. I think I shared with you that I got those, did I? I don't know. Some hot chocolate, not even like wrapping them in a bow or anything, I'm just keeping them straight in the box because that's how much I care. My kids are definitely going to love it either way. Popcorn, always a family favorite. I put just threw some stickers in there. Some, these are books, like art books that the kids can color in. I have just an activity to keep them busy. And then I packed some Christmas books in there that I got from Costco. I feel like that is a nice Christmas Eve box. Is it Pinterest worthy? Yes. And I almost forgot to share with you. So you know how you're, you know, shopping for everybody for Christmas. Well, I came across some gems that I just had to take home for myself. First, this monitor stand and organizer. Merry Christmas to me. I am unsure if I'm gonna wrap these myself and open them on Christmas. I don't know, I might do it. I'm definitely not wrapping this stool, but I found this stool at Home Goods. I, you guys know I've been on the hunt for a stool a solid half year, and this is the first one I found that I like. They have the other ones, let me show you, like this. We have this one that I love, rainbow, it's neutral. I have found different variations. There's banana on my floor, that's real life. I found different variations of this stool with like a dinosaur or a princess crown, or, you know, different things, but I just wanna keep it neutral. But I couldn't find one. I love that, and that's like $17 at Home Goods. It's solid wood, it's really nice. This one was a little bit more expensive. I wanna say it was $20? Yeah, $19.99, but I, I don't know, I really like it. And then, oh my gosh, I'm definitely wrapping this for myself for Christmas. I was shopping with Wentworth for him to get gifts for his siblings and dad and all that good stuff. I found this and I said, this was made for me. It's a megaphone. Oh, I definitely, oh, and there's a siren, yes. This is so I can wake my kids up in the morning. I wish I was kidding. <laughs> and then I found this, which doesn't it just look cool? 
look at this. I looked at it and I thought, man, that looks cool. I didn't even know what it was. Guess what it is. You put your phone here and it like amplifies the sound. Isn't that so fun? I don't know how much this was, probably too much. I forgot at this point, it's been a while. But I just think that's so cute. I always play music when I'm getting ready in the morning and I don't have a Google device uh, in my bathroom so I thought this is just perfect. Okay, I'm going to wrap all of these gifts. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take me an hour. Also, instead of Christmas music, I'm listening to true crime. Run away. And then One more honorable mention. I found this in the same little section. It's like a gift section and Target. It is a clock, but look how it reads. I love it so much. I'm gonna give it to Alex, but really it's for me. <laughs> it doesn't look like much, but it's honest work. You guys, this took me like an hour to wrap. Why? I mean, there's so many little gifts in there. Maybe that's why. Also, I wrapped a couple over here. Didn't get to the Christmas Eve box yet or this stuff, but I ran out of time. I thought I would share this super impressive dessert with you. It's a dump cake. I think I mentioned it in my grocery haul. So one jar of this chocolate hazelnut spread. Done. I'm also making two, so double it up. You need two jars. And then I did run to the store this morning for the 17th time this week to the grocery store to find this strawberry filling. They don't have it at my local grocery store, but they had it at one that was farther out. So half goes in this pan, half goes in the other. Okay, that's done. Also, kind of don't feel like it was enough, but good enough. And then I have this strawberry cake mix. I'm gonna dump it right over. Cool, that's done. Now, you throw on some butter. The recipe says to cut it up, but I'm just gonna melt it because that's what I normally do. Just kidding, I cut it up because no reason. <laughs> So it doesn't look so impressive, but we just got news. It is the best dessert amongst all of these. And then the fudge is in here. And it also got rave reviews. So it doesn't look so great, but don't judge a book by its cover, okay? Christmas Eve tradition. No, with your feet, bud, only your feet. You gotta use your feet. Just your feet. Oh my God. One for each. It's early Christmas morning when Santa rolls out of bed. He rubs his tired eyes and lifts his weary head. He knows the day before him from so many times before. It's what he loves the most And will do forevermore Oh, but no one's ever thought To ask what's in his heart And if even Santa Claus Has hopes and dreams So I realized I never ended the vlog. It is now Christmas. Nice to meet you, I'm in my nice Christmas attire. I'm vlogging today, but I don't know if it will ever see the light of day. I feel like I haven't picked up the camera. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. I will say on Christmas Eve, we opened the Christmas Eve box and then we watched Noel, which is a super cute Christmas movie. I recommend it if you haven't seen it. What else did we do? I don't know what else. Oh my gosh, I just made a bunch of food. I can't wait to eat it. I'm so hungry. Thank you again for watching and hanging out. I will see you next time. Bye.